from being one of the most popular platforms of its time to becoming a massive failure, here's a look at the real reason MySpace failed spectacularly. Facebook steals the show. If you've been familiar with the internet for almost two decades now, then you might remember a time when MySpace dominated the internet space. Founded back in 2003, MySpace was a go-to socializing hub for people of all ages and fully introduced the concept of social media to the world. The platform hit its peak back in 2008 after five years of running, after which the platform finally became a massive success. At the time, it seemed like nothing could really stop MySpace from gaining further popularity, but little did we know, this platform's demise started very quickly. By 2010, MySpace was completely dead. But what exactly happened that made MySpace go from being a raging success to a massive failure? Well, first and foremost, MySpace was founded in 2003 and Facebook came around in 2004, giving MySpace an extreme amount of competition. At first, MySpace offered to buy out Facebook, but after Mark Zuckerberg put forward a hefty price tag of $75 million, the deal was turned down. In 2005, MySpace was then acquired by News Corporation for $508 million. Companies that couldn't acquire MySpace ended up firing their CEOs for not acquiring MySpace, and that explains how popular MySpace was back in the day. MySpace kept growing in popularity while Facebook played in the background. However, by 2009, Facebook surpassed MySpace when MySpace was going through a period of stagnant growth. Facebook noticed a 200% increase in its numbers, overtaking MySpace's popularity. From that year onwards, Facebook has been on a road to success and MySpace started dying down, finally becoming the failure that it is today. But before we get into more details regarding the real reason MySpace failed spectacularly, if you're liking our content so far, then do be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you also subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications button so you can be notified every time we post a new video and also stay up to date about why some of the biggest companies in the world ended up failing. Third party developers. We can't exactly blame Facebook for MySpace's spectacular failure. It was indeed MySpace that ruined the game for themselves and made some massive mistakes which led to their ultimate demise. A major mistake made by the platform included not following third-party developers to work on the platform in the earlier stages. This could have opened massive rooms for improvement and might have even led to MySpace maintaining its popularity instead of facing a massive decline. For instance, Facebook has opened its platform to third-party developers who practice their creativity on the platform and try on different things, never knowing which one might become extremely successful. MySpace, on the other hand, decided to go with a more cautious approach and only deploy their internal resources every time changes were made to the platform and new features were added. MySpace commented that they wanted to ensure that users and developers had an optimum experience on the site, but despite their good intentions, it seems like the platform owners managed to mess it up. Losing its edge as a startup being acquired by News Corporation was probably not the best thing that happened to MySpace. It may have seemed like a pretty decent choice at the time, but after the company was acquired, the cracks started appearing within no time. Being a startup meant that the owners could do whatever they wanted with MySpace, but after the organization was acquired, they had to go through multiple corporate loops every time any minor or major change or addition had to be introduced to the platform. This further reduced the doors of creativity for the platform and made it lose its edge as a startup while Facebook kept gaining traction because of the new features that were being added to the platform. The goals for MySpace changed and at the end of each quarter, MySpace was pressurized to meet the revenue targets. All sorts of ads, no matter how tacky, were being placed on MySpace and there would always be a ton of argument over what ad should be placed on the platform. All of this led to the platform losing its upper hand and finally losing the race to Facebook. Architectural Issues A very fundamental issue that led to the failure of MySpace was that the site was built using a language called MyFusion. While the website may have been able to survive with this language in its initial years, 
as the platform started picking up popularity and people became more and more greedy for new features, the language proved to be redundant. At this point, it had become too late and MySpace didn't have the option of changing its architecture and ensuring a smooth functioning at the same time. This proved to be disastrous for the platform and they eventually shifted to .NET, which once again wasn't the best decision and was equally redundant and outdated. Neither was the language flexible to moderations or any new additional features, but it was also extremely hated by developers, so even if MySpace did decide to go for an open source software, developers probably wouldn't be that keen to make any contributions to the platform. Despite all this, the platform was growing exponentially, but it wasn't sufficient to compete with the immense competition that Facebook was throwing in its direction. Well, these were just some of the reasons why MySpace failed spectacularly, and these mistakes can definitely be avoided by other tech giants in order to ensure a sustainable and successful future.